So this one, this is the most uncomfortable interview I've ever seen. And as a uh, former interviewer myself, it makes my, my, my penis head go in like a turtle's head when I watch this uh, for embarrassment. I don't know why, what the backstory is, but Jerry Lewis was the most uncooperative douchebag um, for this interview. It's unbelievable. So see how much before it gets too embarrassing and you have he to He doesn't bail. look, he doesn't look, he, this looks like <clears throat> at, towards the end of his run. Toward the end, yeah, probably. 90 years old, I think, probably. So let's see here. Have you ever thought about retiring? Why? Uh, was there never a moment that you thought it might be time to retire or you would want Why? To? You come from a... You come from a generation a little older, and I think of Bob Hope, George Burns, Sinatra, people you knew, many of whom didn't want to, uh, re or never retired either. Um, do you see similarities with them? None. None? What do you think drives people like you and, and them to want to keep working? Because we do it well. And how about, um, what, um, What's different about performing now for you than, say, 20 years ago? How is it, how is it different for you? It isn't. Not, a, not at all? Not at all. Um, have you made any... All right, any tap. Tap. There it is. Yeah. You know, I mean, because it's just... <clears throat> to me, it's like, it's not Jerry Lewis's fault. But not Jerry Lewis's fault. No. Well, you didn't like the questions? Look, it's... Don't uh, don't waste my fucking time. You're asking fucking you're asking such stupid fucking questions. So, do you think you got more of your life ahead of you or less? No retirement, performing, not dying. Yeah, no, but it's, it's the guy fucking doing the the questioning is a fucking douche. Not your best. If you can but... if you can answer Everything that you fucking, every question with a yes or no, you're pretty much, a, you're, you're, you're not doing a very good job. I would say, you know, what, what, what does it feel like when you used to say Tiffany hit it and that would, that, that number would roll and it would, you know, you'd be 22 hours into that telethon and you knew once again, man, that you fucking just. You surpassed what you did the year before. You were doing so much good. Like, what was that feeling like? It he was good. He he would that would not be what you'd get from him because you're putting him over. You're not you're not asking fucking, you know, you're you're when are you going to retire? <laughs> yeah, you're done, motherfucker. Like, what? what where'd you oh. get that shitty fucking sweater out of there? Uh, Coin operated car washes. Hell, send them fifty five billion. Billion. Uh, Kevin, one point two trillion. Yes. Um, it's time for the tap out again, Kevin. We've been treated in the last two weeks to uh, a little okay. joke. Okay, I, I I have um. With somebody said, said somebody told me that they they really don't like this new um segment tap out i'm thinking exactly that's why we it's because you're tapping out way earlier you're than tapping out before it plays yeah yeah you're tapping out so it's just like it's like uh, how much like douche chills can you take right this one this week well it's brought to you by blue chew i just like Do to remember remind when we had everyone. that that argument over the girl screaming that was like crazy yeah it was at a at a, a meeting in san that, francisco a public uh, forum yeah and i said that i said no nah, nah, nah. see i would i would have tapped immediately on that that would have been that would have been a good tap out item, that would have been a great yeah. thing i thought about that i'm thinking what would make me tap out you know, besides fucking watching the the world news, I, you know, <laughs> it's true. I could just turn on. Yeah, just turn on the world news for, or yeah, MSNBC for six for or six seconds. Fox. Like that, I would I would tap out. <clears throat> Maybe an LA uh, LA uh, night match. 